profile professional. So as you can see, I've got 25,000 followers. I'm not one of these guys that gets online and I'm like, oh, I'm going to show you how to grow your Twitter, how to make people want to follow you. Ha ha ha. And then you check their Twitter account out and they've got like 2000 followers or maybe they have 5,000 followers. Ooh, but then you check their, the, the engagement out on their tweets. It's like two likes here, five likes there. So as you can see, I've actually got 25,000 followers. I actually get good engagement. So you can apply what I am, am going to be talking about with you today, and you're going to get the results. So let's talk about the profile professional. Here is the profile anatomy right here. As you can see right here, you want a, you basically just want to display your username. So a simple handle. And we're going to cover it right here. You need to start with who are you? Your header can be something like this. Here's an event that I was doing back in San Diego a few months ago where I was sitting down talking to some guys. You can put something like that. You could put a header that has exactly what it is. You do like email copywriter, uh, graphic designer, just different things like that. Obviously, use your brain. Don't just stick with that. But you need to advertise what it is that you do. The next thing is the profile picture. Don't be one of those people that has some like lazy profile picture. Yes, I know some people are going to be in the comments saying, yeah, but I've seen this guy that he, it's like a complete nonsense picture, but he's got a huge following. Cool, cool, bro. That's cool. But for you specifically, you need to not reinvent the will and just put a professional photo. Obviously, this is a graphic photo that I had somebody do for me, but just have a good profile picture that is obvious who it is. Whenever you're scrolling on the timeline, you can tell who Dylan Madden is once you get to know me. Next, a simple handle. You can do your first and last name. You can have your brand. Obviously, I have Moneybag Lives because that is like I'm Moneybag Madden. That's what people know me as. So Moneybag Lives, this account was a, a revived account because I lost one of my other accounts. So it was like Moneybag Lives. So that's why I had the username, but make it simple and easy to say. Don't have one of these super complicated uh, handles. I have a, a student of mine who has a very complicated Arabic name. And I was like, bro, you're going to have to simplify it because I can barely pronounce you your name and I've lived in the Middle East. So you need to make sure that your handle is simple and easy to understand. And then you need to tell people, what do you do? Too many of you are like, oh, I'm a dad. I'm this, I'm that. Nobody cares. Literally nobody cares. So tell people what you do. If you are a freelancer, specifically specify what outcome you're going to create for them and stand out from everybody else. Don't just go, with, oh, I'm an email copywriter. Yeah, I'm a Twitter ghostwriter. I'm a graphic designer. Specify the outcome you're going to create for them. So obviously my account is a little bit different than what you probably are going to be creating. I'm not trying to take on clients all the time like I used to be. So I went for more of a personal touch with my bio. I said, quit my job to travel the world, earn money from freelancing and see the world with my team and my girl, email copywriting services, freelancing guide, and then I've got a link right there. So you know that I'm a guy that travels the world. Uh, my girl travels with me. I've got a team of people that travel with me. I'm into email copywriting, and I've also got a freelancing guide. I've specified exactly what it is that I do, and that might be in intriguing to you. And if it is, you're going to follow me and start engaging with my content. Then you need a call to action. There's a freelancing guide. And then right here, this is what I offer. Boom, right there. So email copywriting services is my main offer. But then my call to action, which is for the link below, is for my freelancing guide. For you, it might be for another guide that you have or a video series that you have or to book a call with you to see if you're a good fit or they're a good fit for your service. So utilize your profile and maximize it as much as possible because you have to understand so many people are going to be seeing you commenting they're going to be seeing your tweets they're going to be seeing your quote tweets and you have literally a second if that to advertise exactly who you are and hook them so you need to maximize your header your profile picture your bio and your call to action because one people are going to be booking calls with you people are going to be purchasing from you people are going to be signing up to your email list and based off your bio, your profile picture, and your header, that is basically what is going to create this perception of who you are in their mind. So maximize that. Header and profile pic. So this obviously illustrates what I do. 
And that's what you need to do. You need to illustrate what do you actually do? Like you can see this and I went for more of the mysterious effect. So you see this and you can tell these guys are sitting here listening to what I'm saying. I'm talking about something interesting. And that is the image that I wanted to convey through that picture. For you, it might be advertising your services. So you can have a some social proof. So maybe a client of yours that did very well, you could put that as your profile or your header and advertise what it is that you actually do. And then I've got an original photo of myself. It is not some generic Google image, a statue picture, a lion picture, or some random person from history. It is literally myself. So I want you to have an original photo of yourself and make it obvious that, wow, this is that guy. Twitter bio. Here is the amateur bio. <laughs> Hi, my name is John. I'm a photographer. Want to work together? Shoot me an email, blah, 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 or DM me here. Everybody says that. And if everybody says that, that means you are going to blend in and nobody's going to care about you. Nobody's going to follow you. And nobody's going to pay you for your services or product. So essentially, just don't do it. Here's a professional bio. I help influencers add five, six figures via email, email campaigns, weekly emails, product launches. And then you could even add a call to action with a link below that. That is perfectly fine as well. But why is this better than this? Hi, my name's John. I'm a photographer. Want to work together? There's so many other photographers out there. Nobody cares that your name is John. Want to work together? Shoot me an email. Who cares? I, you're one of like a million other photographers out there versus the professional bio. I help influencers at five to six figures via emails or via email. I'm specifying the outcome that I'm going to create for you. I've made my bio about you. So take that into consideration when you're writing your bio, make it about the person that's going to be following you. So you are going to help add for influencers at five, six figures to their uh, income via email. That's essentially what that sentence is saying. And then you, I also put email campaigns, weekly emails, product launches. So I'm making it also obvious specifically what I do. So not only will I add five to six figures to your income, but also I do email campaigns, weekly emails, and product launches. Now, caveat, do not specify an outcome that you cannot create. That is one of the easiest ways to tarnish your reputation and just be, basically become a laughing stock. Only specify outcomes that you're going to create. I talk to this about or talk about this with my students all the time. Don't claim that you're going to increase their conversion rates or you're going to do this or do that if you've never done it before. I respect you believing in yourself, but don't fake it till you make it. Actually go out there and get the result. And then whenever you say certain things, people know, like, okay, whenever he says he's going to add five, six figures to my monthly income through email, I know that he is like telling the truth, that he can deliver. So be very intentional when you're creating your bio. Do not specify results that you have not created yet. Only specify results that you've gotten for other people. And I know what you're thinking now. You're like, well, I haven't done anything. Okay, that's fine. You can still say, uh, I do email campaigns, weekly emails, and product launches. DM me to learn more or click the link down below to check out examples of what I've done. And you can put together a portfolio of basically emails that you've rewritten from other people or write your own emails or examples of product launches. And that's good enough. But don't say things that you have not actually done. Be very, very mindful of that. And that is perfectly OK. And that is how you're going to stand out from everybody else. So should you have a business or a personal Twitter account? So as you can see right here, this is a quick example that I had my team put together of a business account, the world traveler, traveling the world to learn from successful entrepreneurs and make friends along the way, blah, 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 versus a personal Dylan Madden, blah, 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 blah. Here's the bio, you know who I am. And my answer is this, you can have a business account or you can have a personal account or you could just combine the personal and the brand and make a personal brand account which is going to give you way more power in the market because you're showing that you're a real person. You can show, you can build your authority. You can show social proof, AKA lifestyle stuff, AKA results you get for clients, AKA you actually know what you're talking about. And it's going to give you way more power and it's not going to limit you. If you just have a business account, that is all you can really talk about is around that specific business. If you have a personal account, AKA a personal brand, you can talk about anything. You can promote your service, then later you can launch a new product, 
You can promote affiliate offers and everything goes up underneath your umbrella, AKA your personal brand. So you need to go with a personal brand account, not just some generic business account because the business account is going to limit you long-term and short-term. So go ahead and just use your brain, create a personal brand, 